Let's look at how we can use Tactician to quickly search our DTM library to locate key rules, data elements, or even parts of scripts that might be difficult to, to track down. So first we're going to go ahead and bring up the Tactician library by opening up the uh, tools here and clicking on the Tactician tab. You can see we open up into what we call our live view. It has a list of all of the rules that have fired on this page. And let's say that we're trying to track down where EVAR10 is being set in Adobe Analytics. Well, we can quickly use the search feature, type in EVAR10, and we can see that on this page, it's firing in the all pages rule. We can go ahead and pull that rule up. We can look at some information about how that rule is fired, and we can see what's being set in, in EVAR10. Uh, another great use case for this is, is looking within scripts. Um, so if we want to search deep within a script for a specific identifier, we can use the search feature as well. So the scripts are fully searchable. So let's say we want to search for the string project ID. We can see that that is found within the data layer rule. And if we look in there, we can go ahead and see that it's actually contained within a non-sequential JavaScript. Great way of doing full search of third-party scripts that are deployed through Adobe DTM. And finally, we can look at data elements and other elements within Adobe DTM. I'm going to go ahead and toggle over to view library, which allows me to see my entire library. And let's say that our dev team is removing an element from the DOM that we've been using in DTM to set some values, but we're not exactly sure what data element it's attached to. So I'm going to go ahead and type in the value now. And I know the value is count. I can see, okay, I've got a data element called search count and I can see that it's being set to window.count. Now I can quickly address any issues that removing that from our code might cause. A couple quick examples of how using search within Tagtician can save you a ton of time. As always, if you have any questions or feedback, you can access the feedback mechanism by clicking on the link here and clicking send us feedback. We'd love to hear your feedback on what would make the tool more useful for you.